everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Katie Williams, but don't get too attached to my last name because I am getting married in a month. So my name will be Katie Ubley, which is so crazy to say, but I'm super excited and I posted a couple of wedding updates. So I would recommend checking those out as we count down the days to my wedding at the end of November. Today, I wanted to teach you guys an intuitive tool to test how many spirit babies are in your aura and this is also going to tell you if you have a spirit baby but before we get into that first we need to understand who spirit babies are spirit babies are the souls of unborn children and they are planning on coming into their next lifetime these can be souls that we have not yet conceived they can be souls that we have unfortunately miscarried or if we had an abortion and even though they are choosing us to be their parent in this lifetime, they serve as amazing guides and healers for us. Right now, one of the most popular ways that people know if a spirit baby is in their energy is through dreams. And this is because when we are asleep, we have so much less resistance to the spiritual and to our intuition. So what will happen is our spirit baby will sense that and they will be able to use that portal to connect with us. And when I say dreaming about them, I'm not just saying like when we see them in the dream, I'm talking when it feels so real. We can see our spirit baby, we can hear them, we can feel them, we can smell them, like all of our five senses are engaged. And right now, this is one of the most popular ways that people know if they have a spirit baby. Something that actually is not an indicator if someone has a spirit baby is the desire to become a parent. And I know, I know that's so strange because you're probably like, if I desire to become a parent, then wouldn't I have a spirit baby? But each spirit baby's journey is unique. Your journey is unique. We're not going to have the same journey. And in some situations, people will desire to become a parent, but they won't have a spirit baby in their energy. In this case, they can actually call one in and they can call in a spirit baby who hasn't yet chosen their parents and it gets to be this deeply intentional and conscious journey. And there are some situations where people will say their whole life that they don't want children and then all of a sudden they'll have the desire or... They won't realize until they get pregnant that it just feels right and everything clicks into place. So when it comes to your desire to become a parent, I don't want you to just think about your spirit baby and having and birthing human life. I also want you to think about creation in general because the desire to become a parent actually goes deeper than having offspring and having physical children. It's also the sole desire to birth things into the world that you came here to do. And this can be related to family. It can also be related to career and your sole purpose. It's about this essence of creation and going inwards and then being able to birth something into the world that is going to make such a positive impact. And of course, one of the most divine ways to participate in this is through having children. Let's get into the intuitive practice that I want to teach you guys to see how many spirit babies are in your aura. Firstly, you're going to visualize golden light coming down from source energy, and you're going to see pink light coming up from the center of the earth. Before doing anything with our intuition, it's so important to connect to that golden and pink light. Then you're going to set the intention to see a hologram of your light body six feet in front of you. And you're going to visualize this on like a grid. I call it the goddess grid because we're working with our feminine energy and our spirit babies and it's just a fun name to use. So you're going to set the intention to see a hologram of your light body on that grid. And the difference between the light body and the aura is that the light body is the actual substance, whereas the aura is like an expression of it, but we can use the terms interchangeably. And then you're going to set the intention to be shown how many spirit babies are within your aura. Most of the time they pop up as little white balls of light. Sometimes they can also come up blue or green. It really doesn't matter which color they show up as. 
or you may even see their faces, you may see a number. Everyone's intuition works differently, but for me personally, I see those glowing balls of light. If you feel like you can't see your spirit babies in your aura, you can also set the intention to hear it or to feel it. There are multiple forms of intuition that we can use, but I find that clairvoyance, the act of seeing, tends to be really easy, but you can tap into these other forms as well. And that's all there is to it. Now that you know how many spirit babies are in your aura, if you want to learn how to communicate with them effortlessly, I have a three-part mini course called The Baby Boom, where we go into who spirit babies are, where they come from, the energetics of spirit baby communication, along with multiple practices that you can use to connect with your spirit babies. The link is down below in the description. Now, if you didn't see or feel or hear anything at all, it doesn't mean that you don't have a spirit baby. Our intuition is like a muscle and we have to work at it and we have to develop that skill. So I would even encourage the baby boom as well. So that way you can get a feel for how your intuition likes to connect with you. So that way you can tap into your spirit baby's energy. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video and the Spirit Baby Diaries book is releasing very soon. November 7th is the ebook release date and December 13th is the paperback release date. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.